Hello, seventh grade scholars. Welcome to this lesson on the poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade. So The Charge of the Light Brigade is by Alfred Lord Tennyson, who lived in the 1800s. He was an English poet, and he was regarded as the chief representatives of the Victorian age in poetry. And here's a photograph of Alfred Lord Tennyson. Uh, a couple of things for you to know as we go through this. Um, in green highlights are little hints about the quiz you're going to be taking in a moment. So who wrote the Charge of the Light Brigade? Alfred Lord Tennyson. What country was he from? England, because he's an English poet, so he's from England. So Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote the Charge of the Light Brigade. So a couple of things. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history. Um, I am not your history teacher, but a little bit about the history and... Um, then we'll get into the poem. And I have a little video at the end of a, a reenactment of this charge of the light brigade. So if we look at the poem as though we were going to do a TV cast, we would start with the title. So the charge of the light brigade, a couple of vocab for words for you. Charge is rush forward in attack, charge. And brigade is a major tactical military formation. So a group of soldiers, major tactical military formation, Note the green highlight. Major tactical mili military formation is brigade. So then we look back at the title, the charge of the light brigade. So it must be attacking of this group of soldiers. So they're going into battle possibly. That sounds about right. And pretty much we are right. So here is um, a, a brigade um, just from 2019 at, at Camp Williams here in Utah. So it's not like it's a, an ancient term that we don't use, use today. So the Charge of the Light Brigade refers to an actual battle. So um, this battle is called the Battle of Balaclava, Battle of Balaclava, um, and it took place 1854, in October of 1854, and 600 men, well, it was around 600 men, but that's the number that is used in the poem, 600 men. So it's closer to 700. Um, when around 600 men led by Lord Cardigan rode into the unknown. So let me rewind just a little bit. Oh, you just have to push it once. Okay. So rewinding. So the Battle of Balaclava is a battle within the Crimean War. So we have the Crimean War, and then, you know, when there's a war, there are events that happen all throughout, or um, different battles or things that happen within one war. So this war lasted from 1854 to 1856. So we know that the Battle of Balaclava took place in October of 1854. So it was a year into the war. So skipping a lot of things, we've got for the, the Crimean War, we've got the Russian Empire, and then there's an alliance of four different um, groups. So we have Britain, we have France, we have Ottoman Empire and Sardinia. So it's basically Russia against this alliance. And so Russia wanted to control all the ocean ports and Britain, one of the, the four alliance, Britain wanted to stop Russia from having control. So if you look at, here are some of the alliances, Balaclava is right here, and that gave them an advantage to have this control. So Britain was already trying to stop Russia from um, having this control. And at the Battle of Balaclava, the Allies, or those that group of, of four, um, had stopped this Russian attack, and then they lost their, um, their guns, and they were with the Russians. So when they wanted to go and get some of their guns back, they decided um, to send the Light Brigade and the Heavy Brigade. And the Light Brigade, so this is Britain. Uh, the Light Brigade and the Heavy Brigade were, were sent to go and retrieve these guns. They went in on horses, and they, because of miscommunication, um, because of a mistake, because of not being clear, um, and from commander to commander, um, having misinformation, the light brigade went charging in the wrong direction, and they charged in the wrong spot where Russian soldiers were ready to just blast cannons at them. And it ended up being a really bloody battle. Um, the heavy brigade ended up I think seizing um, a group, and then they never went and supported the Light Brigade in, um, in their battle. And so Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade, is about this battle, this group of 600 plus men going into battle. 
um, some information here. Here's a, a quote about, about that battle. The horrors that followed, so during the attack, would have shocked even the most experienced officer. Witnesses told of blood splattered bodies, missing limbs, brains blown to smithereens, and smoke filling the air like a huge volcanic eruption. It sounds horrid. Here is um, a painting of the Light Brigade going into battle. The charge of the Light Brigade will be remembered as a battle steeped in bloodshed, mistakes, regret, and trauma, as well as valor, defiance, and endurance. So let's take a look at our poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade. <clears throat> I'll have to move some things around. Okay, so it starts off half a league, half a league, half a league onward. So almost like a group of soldiers, you can kind of feel that rhythm of soldiers marching. A league is just over three miles, so half a league would be a mile and a half-ish, something like that. Some of you mathematicians, Payson, you probably know what a league is. Um, that's what I understand about, about leagues. I don't do math, remember that? English is best. Uh, so half a league, half a league, half a league onward, all in the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the 600. So we've got them charge for the guns. So knowing a little bit of the history has helped us already understand, oh, here's a group of soldiers going into battle, trying to get their guns back. Into the valley of death, this is highlighted in green. This is an illusion. Some of you might be familiar with this allusion, into the valley of death. It's from the Old Testament. It's Psalm 23. So in Psalm 23, um, it's spoken that the Lord is my shepherd. Um, no want shall I know, I think, I don't think I have it memorized. So let me just take a look at my trusty, trusty, dusty <laughs> Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. So the Lord is always with me regardless of where I go. He restoreth my soul so he comforts me. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, this is our illusion. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So these soldiers are going into battle and there's a reference to walking into the valley of death. Um, when you are facing something difficult or something where you know you're going to die, and especially in war or um, um, feeling pain, not fearing what's on the other side or not fearing because you trust in a higher being is what's, what the, the reference is here. So an allusion to Psalm 23 is what's being um, stated here. In into the valley of death, an illusion. Stanza two, forward the light brigade. Was there a man dismayed? Not though the soldier knew someone had blundered. So they didn't know that someone had made a mistake. There's not to make reply. There's not to reason why. There's but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Cannon to right of them, cannon to left of them, cannon in front of them volleyed the th and thundered. Stormed at with shot and shell, boldly they rode and well into the jaws of death, into the mouth of hell, rode the 600. So they're going into something pretty painful. Flashed all their sabers bare, flashed as they turned in air, sabering the gunners there, charging an army while all the world wondered. Plunged in the battery smoke, right through the line they broke. Cossack and Russian reeled from the saber stroke, shattered and sundered. Then they rode back, but not, not the 600. So they didn't all return. You'll notice some enjambment. A Cossack is um, a group of people from uh, Russia and the Ukraine. Um, cannon to right of them, cannon to left of them, cannon behind them volleyed and thundered, stormed at with shot and shell, while horse and hero fell. They that had fought so well came through the jaws of death, back through the mouth of hell. All that was left of them, left of 600. When can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made, all the world wondered. Honor the charge they made, honor the light brigade, noble 
600. So we end up, we have this group of soldiers that go into battle, 600 plus of them, and they're, they're bold and they're going into the valley of death and they're trusting in their, their higher power and they get obliterated and there's a lot of bloodshed, but we can still honor them. Um, I'd like to show you a video um, that recreates um, this battle. Um, it's, you know, it's cinema, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's not quite as bloody as the description I, I gave you earlier. But I'm going to leave it here. Um, go and take the quiz after this if you'd like to watch this again to review. Um, great, and um, I will see you next time. Half a league, half a league, half a league onward. All in the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade. Was there a man dismayed? Not though the soldier knew someone had blundered. Theirs not to make reply. Theirs not to reason why. Theirs but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon in front of them volleyed and thundered. Stormed at with shot and shell, boldly they rode and well, into the jaws of death, into the mouth of hell, rode the 600. Flash all their sabers bare, flashed as they turned in air, sabering the gunners there, charging an army while all the world wondered. Plunged in the battery smoke, right through the line they broke. Cossack and Russian reeled from the saber stroke, shattered and sundered. Then they rode back, but not, not the 600. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon behind them volleyed and thundered. Stormed at with shot and shell, while horse and hero fell, they that had fought so well came through the jaws of death. Back from the mouth of hell, all that was left of them, left of the six hundred. When can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made. All the world wondered. Honor the charge they made. Honor the light brigade. Noble 600.